Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today's uh, kind of a recap or an update of where I am in terms of the Booktubeathon. I did a day one and day two video already and I posted that one. So this is sort of day three and day four. Um, in the first one I had mentioned that I had kind of completed four of the seven challenges and that was, um, what were they? Listen to an audiobook, uh, read a classic, reread a book. Those were actually three combined um, challenges. So I got three knocked out at one. And um, the fourth one was um, a book, read a book that's been on your shelf for a long time. So um, completed those four challenges. Uh, over the past two days, I've um, been reading Light by uh, Michael Grant. This is the other challenge, which is complete a series. If like finish a series. So this is the last book in the series. I'm currently on page 123. Oh my God, this is so good. Um, amazing thing happening. I, I, I can't wait to see how this all wraps up. Um, my other challenge that I was going for was to read a 500, 500 plus page book, and I haven't even started this one yet. Um, I do tend to read more than one book at a time, but in this case I really just wanted to focus on light and kind of make sure I completed this task first. Um, because I'm working right now, I'm not on vacation or anything, and at least until the weekend, I can't just sit down and read for long periods of time. I get maybe a, an hour, well, maybe about two to three hours when I get home from work, other than like when I'm reading this during my lunch break. And so I've been listening to audiobooks at work. And I did uh, send a note to, or Twitter, to Booktubeathon. And I asked, if I listen to an audiobook, can I count the pages of its physical copy to my overall page count? And they did reply yes. So I have been listening to books, at least while I'm physically working, and then reading physical copies when I come home. So um, before the challenge started, I was listening to this on audio. This is The Power of Six by Pitticus Lore. It's the second book in the I Am Number Four series. I was up to page 66 prior to it, um, but I did complete it on audio, so that kind of added um, 340 pages to my total count. And currently, I am just about to finish, let me bring it up here. Uh, it is called, come on, um, The Encourageable Children of Ashton Place, book one, and it's the um, Mysterious Howling uh, is the subtitle of it. And it's a middle grade book. It's it's okay. It's about three children that kind of grow up in the wild forest of Ashton Place. And this 15-year-old governess comes to kind of um, take control of them. And you'd expect them to be a bit more wild. And there's not a lot of shenanigans, for lack of a better word, um, happening at the place until this party and things kind of go a little out of hand. But I was expecting a little bit more craziness. So um, I'll see. Like I said, I only got about a half hour less le left to listen to it, and that'll complete that book. Um, so that is uh, 267 pages. So my overall page count is Lord of the Flies is 182. That was my classic. Time and Relative, that was my oldest book. That was 115 pages. Um, what I listened to after the challenge started, um, 340 pages out of this. Incorrible Children of Ashton Place, that was 267 pages. And I've read 123 pages of this so far. So that's uh, 1,027 pages. So I don't know, it's Thursday already. There's only three more days left. So don't think I'll make that number one challenge of reading a total of 2,100 pages for the week. So we'll see. I'm, I'm definitely going to finish, like I said, I want to finish this book and really make an attempt to try and finish this one. So that's where I am currently. Hope you guys are doing really well if you're taking part in the Booktubeathon. And if you're not, I hope you're just enjoying reading and reading some of these updates and seeing what everyone's up to. So. It is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the challenge and uh, might look into doing some more of these. So thanks for watching. Good, heavy reading.